Hey guys, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where I show you the exact tools and tips and tricks I use within my own real estate investing business. So today's video, we're gonna keep going with Podio. I wanna uh, keep the momentum going here and show you some uh, tips and tricks for setting up your homepage, which can be a really important piece of whatever system you're working in. And uh, the way to make your homepage really useful is to use the tiles that you can put over on the right here. So I'm gonna show you some uh, suggestions on what kind of tiles you can put there and, and how you can bring the information in all of your apps to the forefront so you know what you can what you need to work on at any given point in time all right so I blanked out all of these now uh, by default uh, Podio will give you a few of these they'll give you like a calendar a tasks app etc but uh, I took them all out I got rid of them and I'm gonna add a few here to um, just make this look a little bit nicer all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a logo to this workspace, all right? So to add a new tile, you simply add tile. You can also add tiles from a different section within apps, and I'm gonna show you that as well. But let's say I just wanna add a simple logo. All I do is go add tile, and this is in the overview section. I'm gonna add an image, and I'm going to go to my files to upload an image. It's pretty simple. You got to make sure that your image is sized about right. Now you'll be able to click and drag and make it a little bit bigger or smaller based on what you need. Um, you could also tag it to a website. So let's um, let me put that in here so that when you click on it, it goes to your website. So let's add that link. Okay. So that's there. NY Home Solutions is the name of my business. So let's put that there. And that shows up on the workspace homepage, no matter if it's me or my partner that's coming in here. Okay, so um, clicking on that again gets you the website that you put in there. So that's cool, that looks nice. Uh, let's add a few more. So some of the other overviews are nice. One is the important links. So if I add another tile and I go to, uh, let's scroll down here, links. This is a great place to, if you have links that you use on a daily basis or you just use a lot and you want to have them available to you, you can add just a list of links, kind of like a bookmarks. Okay, so I'm gonna call this important links. I'm gonna put a few in there. So first would be something like Zillow. Maybe um, you're using Zillow to look at comps and whatnot. So you enter the URL, enter what you want it to say. And there it is. Maybe you want Lowe's to be available if you are shopping for construction materials and whatnot. So let's see here. Let's add that here. Um, and then also you could do something like uh, maybe Google Drive. So there's Google Drive. Grab that link oh, and edit it by clicking the pencil. And then you can add a new one here. And there you go. So that's a list of cool, important links that I can move, and that'll be there every time I open up my homepage, they'll show up. So that works out nicely. Now, these are really easy ones. These aren't calling on any of your data at all. Uh, this has nothing to do with the data that you have in Podio yet. What we're going to do is we're gonna use what's called reports to bring some of that data to the forefront, all right? Um, and it's a really nice way to go about it. Now you can bring reports in either from this screen or you can do it from the um, apps themselves. So um, I'm going to do it, let's see, I'm gonna do one from, um, from here. So what I wanna know is I have vacancies. Uh, if I click here, I have um, my vacancies are showings that I, or I'm sorry, they're units that I need to fill. So I wanna know, just as soon as I open my page on a daily basis, how many vacancies do I currently have to work on? So I can add a tile, and I'm gonna to go to Reports and Charts, and I'm gonna to go to Vacancies, all right? Now it says Create a Report for this app, all right? So I'm gonna to go to Create Report. It's gonna bring me over to Vacancies, and what I wanna know here is it pulls me into my default view, which happens to be my open vacancies. So this worked out nicely. If this wasn't your default, you'd have to filter it, but you can see you can easily filter it um, by doing this, right? 
So you can click off of that and whatnot. So, um, but I do want to just see the open vacancies that I have, and I want to keep it really simple. Um, I could potentially put unit on there, and it would break it down by unit if I care about that, or maybe um, by deal, which I could bring in as well. But I like to keep them really simple. So I like to usually do none there and call this open vacancies. We'll call it units. All right. Save the report, and then it'll bring you back to the home screen, and it'll show up there, open vacancies. Now this one, you can make this tile nice and small because it's pretty easy and I want to move it down here I want my links to stay up there and so every time I open this up I know how many units are vacant that I need to work on and if I want to see the detail on these I simply click the one or two or whatever it says and it'll bring me over there show me that I have this vacancy All right. so let's go back to our home page and let's do another one um, that is a open vacancy now within Vacancies are related to vacancies as I have showings. So maybe I would like to know my upcoming showings. So let's go to the showings app. And this one I'm gonna create from the app itself. So I have a view set up for all my upcoming showings. And I just have one set up here. But, um, and the way that this view works is I'm obviously on the calendar layout and my filter is on showing date, all future dates. So this tells me anything that's in the future show up here, all right? So I'm gonna use this view to create a report. So I'm on the view, I click create report, and again I'm gonna count per, maybe I want the date in there, okay? Um, and that could be helpful on the home screen to tell me what date I have something. Now you could also separate this by week, if you have like a ton of showings or something like that, or by month, etc. All right, and by weekday kind of helps too, all right? And I would want these to be ordered um, by date. Click next and I will say upcoming showings. Now when it says save to, you could put it in your app reports, which is fine, but something like this I want to bring to my homepage. So if I click the down arrow here, I can make it uh, the workspace homepage. Now your homepage is your own personal one. This is the workspace homepage will make this applicable for you and any of your other team members. So I'll click that. I'll click save report and it'll bring you back to my homepage where this exact report will show up. Upcoming showings right there. All right, so I'm gonna drag that. It looks like I brought it in twice. So let's get rid of this one. And important link still shows up, all right. I'm going to do one more. I would like to know, um, I have some move-ins coming up. And what a move-in is, under each tenant, I have, uh, in, or I'm sorry, um, renewals. Let's talk about renewals. So I could have, I could have uh, incoming move-ins as well, but renewals I could have. So each tenant has a date tagged to them where I would like to start working on renewing them for the next term of the lease, okay? So um, I want to report a really quick tile that shows me my upcoming renewals that I have to work on. So for that, I'm going to start in my Tenants app, and I have a view set up for this, and it's upcoming, or that's upcoming move-ins. I'm going to create a view for my renewals, okay? So I'm going to take all my tenants and I'm going to um, filter on status. I just want the active ones, all right? And then I want um, their target renewal to be a future date, all future dates. All right, so you can see I have nine of those, okay? So let's take this view. Now I could save this and make it a view over here, but let's just create a report with it. So uh, you can see I have nine renewals coming up, but I would like to know some more data about this and I wanna sort these as well. So I wanna know items per target renewal. All right, now I can do monthly or daily. I would like to, I think we'll do um, monthly here. So you can see when my renewals are coming due. Now, what is a bummer by default is this is not in order. So I got June 2017, January 2017, that doesn't work. Um, so what I'm going to do is, basically what it's doing is it's counting them, it's sorting that way. But I can change the sort by doing target renewal ascending. 
and it'll switch it to be in order December, January, February, March, etc. Click next and call this upcoming renewals and uh, we'll call it tenants. And again, I'm going to save it to my workspace homepage. Save the report. It'll bring me back to my homepage and that tile will show up there as upcoming renewals. All right, so then I can click and I can move these things around. Let's just change the size of these. Boom, right there. So that's a really good way to use the data in Podio to make it very easy to see what you need to do on a given day. So I got my kind of admin data here, my logo and my important links, and then I have some stuff to work on. So renewals are coming up. Uh, December, I got one, January, February, March, etc. I have some showings coming up. I have one current vacancy. Maybe this is more important to me and I'd want to bring this up, something like that. Now you could also add tasks to this. Okay, so that's an easy one. Add tile and do workspace tasks and that'll show up. And you can move this to make it bigger. And then you got the whole thing um, all there for you. So I, I encourage you to play around with the homepage and try out different tiles, try out different reports. The reports are really easy and I like to keep them simple. I rarely will uh, break them down by date or by anything else. I like the ones that just kind of show me a number. Um, so that works out nicely. Now, um, let me know if you have any questions about this. Uh, you can get creative. You can have some visual reporting. If you are within the paid app, uh, within the paid Podio services, you can do some bar graphs and charts and things like that. So um, in the meantime, feel free to check out all of the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. And thanks a lot for watching.